or anything really. Um, color is one of these season's biggest trends and I understand it can be a little bit hard to pull off. So I'm going to show you a couple ways that I've been wearing color and kind of take you through why it works. In addition, if you're looking to get any of the pieces from the outfits like the pants or the shoes or the jewelry, um, the first link down there is going to be to my blog and I am going to write out absolutely everything that I'm wearing in each outfit in the blog and where you can get them and all that kind of good stuff. So if you're looking for it, be sure to check there first. Now I'll show you the outfit. A plain shirt and jeans? I don't think so. Try switching it out for something with color. Color is one of the season's biggest trends and this is by far one of the easiest ways to pull it off. This particular look is bright and playful. I've warmed it up with a Starburst t-shirt from Stylemint and rolled up the ends of my jeans just to give it a more casual look. For accessories, I went with a theme, rhinestones. I've chosen flower rhinestone earrings and paired them with a very sentimental rhinestone bracelet. These shoes have shiny embellishments as well. They're flat and nude, so they're easy to walk in and the color elongates my legs. This is a great way to wear casual color for the spring. By far, the season's biggest color trend has been bright skinny jeans. The only unfortunate thing is that occasionally they can be a bit hard to pull off. Sticking with a darker color is usually a safer bet because they're easier to work with. I've chosen to pair my jeans with a flowy black top. The black allows me to add more colors and accessories, and the looseness plays nicely off of the tight jeans. As for accessories, I've decided to play with similar colors in different mediums. This two-fingered ring from Aldo has colorful bursts of purples, blues, and greens, which nicely mocks these large peacock feathered earrings. These two scrunchy bracelets have stones in turquoise and seafoam green. All of the accessories complement each other and the denim without looking out of place. These shoes are a basic black but still very fierce. The heels have spectacular stud detailing and fit the edgy vibe from the loose black style mint shirt. The peep toe allows a bright colored pedicure to show through, adding the final touch of color to the very end of this outfit. This fun in the sun outfit plays with texture. The dark blue shorts are a basic smooth surface, whereas the orange tank is made of a large and textured knit. Because the outfit is so bright, black accessories with minimal details are the way to go. I've done Steve Madden heels, a very simple coach clutch, and black Prada sunglasses. No other accessories for this one because the color itself is so bold. Another way to do color is working across from the color wheel. Pick a color and match it with its contrast, in this case, purple and yellow. I've chosen to wear these colors subtly. Using a white shirt as a natural color allows me to add more texture. This shirt in particular has feminine lace detailing. As far as accessories, a flower to add detail in my hair and a simple Yellowstone bracelet is all that's needed. To keep the look simple and balance the shirt, I've added white suede heels. Christian Louboutin heels have a signature red sole, which adds an unexpected yet exciting burst of color to the very end of this outfit. Another fun way to pull off color is in hues. Pick a color of your choice and go for a lighter and then a darker variation. This dark royal purple skirt plays well off of the light violet top. Exciting statement accessories give life to the rest of the outfit. This large belt from BB adds shape to the waist, along with feathers and a bit of razzle-dazzle. Feather earrings complement it quite well. The 
these black T-strap Steve Madden heels give an amazing dose of glossy sheen. Using Plum Coach sunglasses as a hair accessory brings the purple hue all the way to the top, completing this outfit. Another great way to do color is by using it as a statement piece, complemented with natural accessories. My color sequence for this look is bright coral, rich brown, and metallic gold. Because the dress is a classic shape, I added one of my favorite handbags and snakeskin wedges just to give it a fun bohemian touch. This Jimmy Choo handbag is more than meets the eye. It's two in one. The first side is plain brown with a gold emblem, inviting the use of gold accessories just like this studded wrap bracelet. The other side is full of fringe and intricate woven work. Either side picks up on the brown in these chunky snakeskin wedges. The belt on this dress also encourages gold jewelry, but helps give the body an hourglass shape. The corset shoulders would also play off the woven side of the handbag. The final touch of an inexpensive brown and amber earrings tie everything in this look together. The last tip is to warm up black with accessories. Black is such a common color. I'm sure that everyone has black in their wardrobe and there's no reason not to brighten it up this season. Go through your closet and see what bright accessories you can find. Personally, I'm going to start with a bright blue belt. I'm knotting it at my waist as opposed to buckling it, as most people would. The way I do this is simply by looping it under and taking it back through the original loop. This gives it a really fun twist. The next bright accessory I'm working with are earrings. This pair has amazing pastel variations strung together in silver. These edgy rings are just as fun. The angular bright pieces come apart so you can wear them on multiple fingers, although I prefer stacking them all on one. These bracelets are also an armful of fun. Two neutral colors and a bright pop add even more zest and dimension to the blackness of this dress. Saving the best for last, these shoes are a neon explosion for your feet. They incorporate all the brightest neon colors, and I love that when looking straight on, the blue is prominent. It perfectly ties back to the color of the belt very well. The rest of the shoes are just as exciting. Vibrant oranges, amazing yellows, bright pinks, and even greens make up for any part of the rainbow that didn't show up at the top of our outfit. That's how easy it is to make black a little bit brighter. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed these outfits, maybe got a little bit of style inspiration, and hopefully learned a little bit about rock and color. I certainly look forward to talking to you all soon. Mwah! Bye!